Hello, what is this? Cleaning woman lies on the edge of a childless park. There is no shortage of dead in Kingsmith, nor of secrets that may have kept. The woman clutches a phone in her hand. There's a message flashing on the screen. Someone was trying to reach her. Examine the phone. Remember, use the control pad to upload the surveillance to me. I've hidden it beneath a loose stone in the front of the church. Hawthorne won't suspect we are watching him, or why. Oh, and the code for the keypad, it's the number of the first song he wanted to sing on the Sunday before it all went to hell. Number of the first song he wanted to sing on the Sunday before it went all to hell. Well, how am I supposed to find that? Interesting. Well... Find the hidden keypad. If I ask, Okay, so let's ask. Look at the churchyard there. Chewed up like Susie's clam chowder. I've been keeping a head count, blessings to readminister, plots to be returfed, other unfortunate logistical problems. This is no Armageddon. I hope you're not disappointed. 
The Mayans might have blocked it in on their calendars, but we have enough of heaven and earth illuminated to us to know better. God bless the internet. Knowledge is power, especially with Google on your side. My child, Kingsmith Congregational is always open these days. Especially now, my flock is considerably reduced. But even if we had holy water, I'm afraid it would have run dry by now. Wow, uh, there's so many quests you can do around here. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what happens. All right. The secret world. Keypad code. Dirty laundry. Let's see. Never talks about what songs he was singing, so there's no way to advance, save randomly picking numbers as there is around the church. Alright. Let's look, shall we? I find it interesting that they integrate this browser into the game. Well, I located one per the one person that I needed. Okay. Hey, look at that. Maybe it's one of these. Five seven six three seven nine six ten. I think they said it was the first, so let's try five seven six and then maybe three seven nine. So let's try five seven six. Done and done. Uh, let's see. Dirty laundry gives me some money, and missing persons gives me money, and choose one. Rusty chain, deputy buckle, outlaw belt. That's some health and attack rating, which makes me lose health but gain attack rating. It's health and heal rating, and that's health and attack rating, and it's an upgrade all around. I think I'd rather do that, because I don't really want to lose health too much right now. There we go. Now, with all that, I still have the supply run to do. Let's finish that before we uh, call this in here. What else do I need to do? Find a local phone book. Really? I know where there's a phone book. Sprint. And I already read it. But I've already been to all the businesses. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through, man with a shotgun and a sword. Well, hey. Well, hey to you. Well, there we go. Well, thanks. Pharmacy. 
Okay, cool. So I go there, and now I go to my map. Okay, so what I was doing was supplies, and I completely forgot to do this part of the quest, which ties right into it. Really? Why don't you back off, buddy? So I completely forgot to actually do the main mission while I was out doing the supply run because I didn't check the phone book. Because I... yeah. Right. So, once again, I've kind of muddled things up a bit. But hey, I'm um, doing alright. Moving along. Um, I'm still really not sure why there's a blue and a yellow. I'm guessing one of them is more than likely AP, one of them is SP. Um... And I guess they just level up on different difficulties, or not difficulties, different uh, experience curves. Lore in the bathroom. Yuck. Yeah, filth indeed. Oh, hi. There we go. Preserve food. And I got some AP. He's using sword and blood magic. Interesting combination. Ammunition boxes here. Excellent. Whoa! Oh. Uh, what happened? There we go. Alright, let's reduce the amount of damage you do, shall we? It's not expecting that. I could have gotten out of the attack that he did, but, uh, yeah, I kind of... I guess you could say I panicked a tiny bit. Oh, I can actually open this door, it's just not glowing properly. Okay. And uh, another phone book. Okay, so they give you multiple. Okay, the fire department already been there. Not really sure. Commercial discipline might be a good one to get just because it's helps me take hits. I think I'll do that and I'll put it down here.
Yeah, what do I need? First aid, huh? We're done here, and we are leaving. Okay, so as I'm running back, I, I imagine this is this is kind of a good point to maybe stop for a little bit. Um, her corpse is still here. Oh, interesting. Um, looks like there's a cooldown, but I can do that quest again in 17 hours. So there are 24-hour. I guess, let's just call them daily quests. Anyone that's done World of Warcraft knows all about daily quests. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, so what do I think of The Secret World as I've played it so far? Uh, well, it's not anything like I expected, to be honest with you. The MMO, it doesn't... It, it has a very interesting feel to it. I mean, I'm here I am in these urban environments, very modern setting, using shotguns and swords and things like that. It's pretty cool. Um... The zombie theme is kind of neat, and the whole underground thing where I traveled from place to place using the Tree of Life, uh, again, not something I, I, I not looked into this game at all. So it looks like there's going to be multiple themes, different things that um, I can do, uh, you know, different kind of quests that are available, and and that's pretty cool. I, I like that, and it's. Uh, There we go. Just real quick look at what I get here. It's a pure upgrade. That's uh, health and heal rating. That's more attack rating. I'll go for that. So yeah, uh, it's got some things that I would expect to see from an MMO based on me being me playing World of Warcraft. Uh, it's got some features that I think are really nice, such as the ability to target a friendly and an enemy. That's something that comes from Warhammer. That's nice to see. Uh, and there are mechanics that you can use that Good allow you to utilize that, such as damaging enemies to heal or buff teammates. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, there's a lot neat here, and I like the fact that um, there's different ways of doing things. Three different skills, or three different schools here ranged melee and magic and each one of them fights a little differently and there's benefits to each one and there appears to be a balancing act that's been done as well for example ranged and magic users that have ranged abilities have to slow down to use their abilities to cast uh, or to aim so there's balance in that uh, the wheel's kind of cool. You get all these different tiers of abilities, and as you can see, everything's going to start getting expensive here. Once you get up to the high end, that's 50 AP per one of these. Uh, but you could fill out this whole thing, and I think that's kind of neat. It's something I liked in Diablo 3, where you could get all your skills and abilities and just choose which ones you want. And as you can see, out of all these, uh, I still have only seven slots of passives and equipped. I mean, I'm using two different weapons. I'm not sticking to just swords. I'm using swords and shotguns, and I've already nearly filled up my entire skill bar. And so I have to really start deciding um, what do I want. Um, so this will be interesting. And I, I just pulled this up and realized there are decks here, such as 
preloaded abilities. That's interesting. Uh, I might have to look into some of these because that's... Um, see, look at that. Assault and melee for a monk. A ninja. What do they have? Swords and elemental. That's pretty cool. So I could, you know, take these decks, look at them and see what people, you know, see what they suggest. I don't have to do these. I could do my own if I really want to, which I am right now. But, uh, oh, that's pretty neat. I, I think it's a very unique MMO. Very different. Uh, the only thing, of course, is uh, it is going to go the route of, like, World of Warcraft and such in which um, the game will charge a monthly fee. Currently it is slated as about $15 a month, uh, which is about the same as World of Warcraft. That price will go down if you pay for more months at a time, so say you do a three month stint, um, it will be a little less. So there is that. Uh, kind of interesting to see. I'm kind of hoping that doesn't work against them as even Old Republic is going free to play here pretty soon or possibly going free to play. It's free to play level up to level 15. There has been talk and rumors that it might go even further um, as numbers go down. Really, free to, the whole subscription model is having issues right now and you really need to have some popularity to, to make that to work. Otherwise, uh, microtransactions through free to play games tends to work a little bit better in this day and age. Um, Especially because trying to get people to split their focus between MMOs such as World of Warcraft, Old Republic, and now this uh, is kind of difficult because people are not going to want to pay multiple subscription fees. People will would like to play and then possibly maybe spend money down the road. I honestly think they have a good game here that they could do free to play on very easily with the whole, let me go in here, the dressing room, buying cosmetic items, shirts, coats, uh, armor, you know, everything that makes you look like who you are uh, could easily be where they make you do your microtransactions. I, I think they could really have made that work. I'm honestly kind of surprised they're deciding to go with a subscription-based model first, though. Oh, well, we'll see how it works for them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off for now, and uh, I will probably look into the game a bit more. I've got a, the weekend to go through it, so we'll see. Alright guys, this is uh, Kagekaze uh, signing off for now. Uh, please stop by again soon.